After a rigorous 27 week academy, celebration comes for these 20 new Greensboro firefighter recruits. Today is extra special for Aldair Rodriguez after waiting nearly two years for this moment. I applied originally to the fire department for the 77 recruit class. Uh, I got accepted, uh, I got the call, I was excited. I uh, started the process, I uh, got hired, started the academy and had a training accident. I came down with a ladder and broke uh, wrist, broke elbow. After two surgeries and placed on light duty for about eight months, Rodriguez helped other recruit classes coming through until he could get cleared. He says it helped him refine his skills and he didn't want to give up on his passion, which makes this moment extra special. It makes it way better than it would have been, I think, the first time. This graduation is changing the outlook for the Greensboro Fire Department staffing challenges as well. These 20 recruits are already assigned to their stations, which means that five firefighters can respond on a call per truck compared to just four. It, it's a great accomplishment for them. Uh, training is a very hard uh, academy to get through. Uh, they have to show dedication, hard work every single day. Uh, we have a very high standard for them. Uh, they've accepted that challenge and they've done very well. Uh, as evident of them graduating today. The department says they've been aggressive in their recruiting and there is now only three open positions. Rodriguez says he's excited to finally have the opportunity to keep Greensboro safe. It's a calling where you want to help people, you want to make a difference and if that's what you want to do, that's all you need. They'll make sure you get there physically and emotionally because it's, it's, it's an emotional process too because they the stuff you go through and academically you have support just as long as it's in your heart that this is what you want to do. I mean, a big kudos to them um, because this, yeah, I'm like, this yep. is not an easy thing. A lot of times we hear of hundreds of applicants submitting and then, you know, after you get through that selection process, background checks, all of the above, and you get to about, I think what they've said before, and I'm not 100% sure, I think it's about 100, but then it gets siphoned down to about 20. Like they're, wow. I mean, it, it's hard. It's, I've, I've heard, um, one Greensboro firefighter I just recently talked to, she's like, it's like boot camp. Like it is. I'm sure. Imagine military. Well, but, but I have actually done stories where they put all the gear on you. Mm -hmm. it's ridiculously heavy. Like mm -hmm. I don't even know how they're getting through that. And you see that video of all that really dense smoke and mm -hmm. you're trying to find each other and you don't know where they're like that. That's emotional. And yeah. it, it, on a daily basis too, yes. right? I mean, you've got to commend not only um, you know this group of new recruits, but I mean, or new firefighters, but their families too. I mean, think about what they go yes. through, putting you know, allowing their family member yep. to go into a field that it can be dangerous. And that's one of the things too through this. I mean, that's 27 weeks of them sitting there going Gosh. through this process. So the biggest thing that they had mentioned too was they have to be away from their kids, and the amount of people that handed over their baby as they like pinned you know their husbands uh. or. It, there's a lot of family that has to kind of combat that too. So a lot of dry eye. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, right, for we'll sure. take a break. Be right back.